Now I want to add the back plate here for the button collection. And if you look at this pressable button HoloLens 2, uh, it has this back plate component in the prefab. So I can just copy this and paste under toolbar. And if you look at this back plate, um, so let's adjust the uh, X and Y position a little bit. Um, so yeah, because I have uh, six buttons in the button collection, I'm gonna just put six in the X scale. So now, as you can see, I have a nice button collection with the uh, shared the back plate. Um, and let's try in the play mode. Uh, so, so using this hand simulation, so I can test out this button collection. So, there's a nice toolbar now. Cool. So, uh, so next thing is I want to make this toolbar floating around me uh, with the tag along behavior. So to do that, you can use uh, radio view solver in, in MRTK. Um, so using this, you can make the uh, object kind of a lazy follow you. Um, so it has uh, some of the important options here is uh, this minimum and maximum distance. Uh, you can uh, so define the range of this kind of uh, threshold uh, so where you want to uh, put this object. So uh, in this case, I want to put this toolbar uh, somewhere in, for the in the near interaction range. So usually near interaction uh, for articulated hand tracking input happens around 40 to 45 centimeters. So I'm going to just put uh, minimum as 30 centimeters and maximum uh, 60 centimeters. So uh, it can float around uh, between this kind of distance range and also for uh, this degree determines the threshold value so I'm going to put a uh, 15 degree so if you click play so as you can see it follows my head movement up and down and of course I can adjust angle for example if I set to 40 degree then as you can see because the left and right uh, threshold angle became much larger and of course if I move back and forth it follows me in a certain range. I can also play with this lurping time. If I put uh, 0.5, it becomes much slower. And let's put it back 15 degree. And also I can use this use fixed vertical position to make it always positioned somewhere uh, below my body um, so essentially it's making it as a like a tool belt uh, so this uh, vertical position is the value of the uh, the distance from the uh, headset so this way I can make a nice toolbar uh, that does not disturb my interaction with the target object and I can easily access by just looking down and quickly press uh, these buttons to access uh, something. So in my case, uh, it's going to be changing the font and color of this currently selected uh, target text object. Cool.